I would now like to call upon Attorney James Grady, Chair of the Board of Trustees, who will present the 2012 Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. Chairman Grady. Thank you. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual who has made a distinguished contribution in the field of health, education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the life of our community. This year, the Board has selected Mr. Thomas Murray. Mr. Murray, please come forward. The Bristol Community College Board of Trustees names Thomas Murray Distinguished Citizen for 2012. Every cause needs a champion, and for the community and philanthropic organizations in southeastern Massachusetts, you are a quiet, unheralded, yet very powerful one business executive, community advocate, and volunteer, you dedicate your time and your talent to strengthen the work of institutions that assist people throughout the community. A certified public accountant, you committed your expertise to building small businesses and strengthening health care management in Fall River. As a longtime member of the Bristol Community College Foundation, you have served as president and on its executive committee. You helped lead our foundation in leveraging professional and personal relationship that secure substantial support to provide scholarships, equipment, and learning resources for healthcare education. Many other local philanthropic and nonprofit organizations in art, healthcare, women's professional development, and education benefit as well from your seemingly limitless skills and commitment. Through your belief in giving selflessly and without fanfare, your exemplary heart and spirit reflect the best of our region. You have made an indelible impact on Bristol Community College and Greater Fall River, given on the 2nd of June, 2012, at Fall River, Massachusetts, John J. Sprager, PhD, President James T. Grady, for the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Chairman Grady, President Sprague, and the Board of Trustees. First and foremost, congratulations to each of you for what you've accomplished here at BCC. On the ground you're sitting, thousands of years lived the Pocasset Indians. They were Wampanoags. They reached out and with their generous hearts welcomed newcomers who came over from England and landed in Plymouth. They provided seeds for them to plant their crops. They guided them. They opened up their hunting grounds. They kept them from starvation. These grounds that you're sitting on became the Massachusetts Bay Colony, eventually the state of Massachusetts. The good people of this colony and this state were the first to provide free public education the first to offer college education, the first to abolish slavery, the first to integrate the Army, the first to hold a women's rights con convention, the first to provide a minimum living wage, the first to provide universal health care coverage, and the first to allow gay marriage. Good people volunteered their time their money, their advocacy and influence to make great things happen here. Some were great, some were not so great, but they were good people of Massachusetts who saw what needed to be changed, and they did it. They did it before you, and now it's your turn. 
Volunteer your time to make things happen from this day forward. It's your time. Volunteer for the United Way, the Boys and Girls Club, the Salvation Army, or a political group, a political cause, or a social justice project of your choice. Serve on a town committee or serve on a state commission. Do your part. I guarantee you will get more out of volunteering than you give and you will enjoy the pride that comes with great accomplishments, and you will make friends that last a lifetime. I am honored that the Board of Trustees has selected me for this Distinguished Citizen Award, but I am humbled because I have gotten so much more from my civic involvement. I wish the same for you. God bless you. God bless America.